Hey guys, it's Britt. And in this live, I want to talk about healing the fear of what you want not manifesting. Because this can be one of the things that really holds us back the most is, you know, having these intense fears of like, well, what if things don't work out for me, right? Like, what if I don't manifest the man of my dreams and I'm alone forever? Or like, what if things just have to be hard for me forever? And like, this can really cause you to not take action when we're being held back by these kind of fears. So I want to talk about this today and say hi to me when you pop on, you guys. If you're watching on the replay, comment hashtag replay. And let's let's go deep with this. Let's go deep with clearing fears because I have a lot to say about this. I've done a lot of work around like um, hypnosis and removing things in the subconscious mind with all the healing modalities that I practice and stuff. And so this is one of the things that can really be a game changer for you is when you no longer have the fear of things not manifesting, you allow them to manifest. So yeah, let's talk about this. But first you guys, I just wanna post in the comments the link to Manifest Your Dream Life School because oh my God, we're starting so soon you guys. We're starting on Monday. You can still join us, but not very long after that. So, okay, boom. Good morning. Full details are there in the comments you guys. I'm so excited. Um, this is my five week back to school course to learn how to master manifestation in all areas of your life. Okay. We're going deep in relationship manifesting, miracle manifesting, soul work and soul business manifesting. Um, it's your joy of living portal. Like this is literally what can take you from, you know, being on the brink of your dreams, kind of having the idea that you want to manifest your dreams, but you're not just quite sure how this is for you to master it you guys we're starting in a few days i'm so excited you can check it out at the link there that i just posted or if you're on instagram at the link in my bio um because i'm going to repost this to instagram after because it's fun to do that or i probably will i probably will so say hi to me you guys if you're on here let's talk about this so how to heal the fear of what you want not manifesting okay so the first thing we can kind of ask ourselves here is okay so what would be the worst thing about what i want not manifesting okay so ask yourself that like let's think of in the sense of a relationship right like you're wanting to manifest your dream man so you have this fear like well what if it doesn't happen for me right what if i can't manifest my dream man well then what ask yourself that like what would be the worst part of not manifesting him okay and you know, maybe it will be that fear of being alone because this is something that's just very common for humans in general. Um, and how to debunk the fear of being alone, you guys, is we are actually always connected to everyone and everything from a spiritual perspective, from a soul perspective, we are always connected to love. Okay. We are always connected to love. You can always tap into the feeling of love. The reason that you don't want to feel alone is because you don't understand that you are truly never alone. You are always with your soul. You are always with love. You are always connected to, you know, angels, if you want to believe in that kind of thing. Like really, you guys, we are never alone. Being alone and the sphere of being alone is a purely human feeling that you can easily bypass by understanding where these feelings of love really come from, okay? So something that I like to say a lot is that you can never actually get another person to inject you with a feeling of love. That love is only ever coming from within your own being, right? Like when you're in a relationship with someone, it's not like they are just giving you that love in the form of like some kind of drug or something. No, when you are in a relationship with someone, they are just activating the love that's already within you. Okay. So knowing that, knowing that you are the only source of your love can help you heal that fear of being alone. But let's just go into it a little bit even deeper than that. I wanted to share a little bit about that first, but let's go deeper. So what would be the worst part of being alone, right? Ask yourself that, like what would actually be the worst part of that? And you know, you might find all these kind of fears that you could heal with these soul principles. Hey Josh, you can heal with the soul principles of, you know, always being connected to love, right? It just appears that we are disconnected from love when we are living 
in this human form, but really you guys, you were a soul in a human body. You are always connected to love and you can learn how to connect with your soul so that you can always feel that connection to love, okay? And you know, the other thing, let's go deeper with this. So let's say you are alone. Let's say that that fear is true and you never get to manifest your dream partner or a relationship, whatever it is you're wanting to manifest, right? Like you want to manifest a connection with people. What if that were true? What if you were literally alone on this earth, you would never talk to another human again? Is there something about that that would be good? Because here's the other side of it. Sometimes people are actually afraid to manifest a relationship because they are so independent. And they actually feel like if they did manifest the love of their life, that they would lose a lot of their own time or they would lose, you know, this ability to like be this individual, okay? So this could be another side of it. Sometimes we're not manifesting what we want because we actually fear losing something, right? So if we think your bank account number, oh my God, buddy, are you serious right now? Are you fucking serious? You are ridiculous. Um, yeah, okay, moving on. So sometimes we are afraid of losing something, right? Are you one of those people that highly values freedom, right? If you are, and you think that a relationship is going to take that away from you, you might actually have a fear of it manifesting, right? So there's so many different scenarios, but what we want to find is, is there actually something positive that I'm gaining from being alone? If you have this fear of being alone, if you have this fear of not manifesting your dream man, in what ways is your life benefiting by not manifesting the relationship, right? And realize that you know, there could be some fears there, right? You could still have some fears of losing your individuality or whatever. Hey, hey, Danny. Um, so there's a few things, right? You could have a fear of it manifesting and you could have a fear of it not manifesting. It could be going both ways, right? Like sometimes you're afraid of something manifesting because you think you're going to lose something else. So what you really want to do with this is realize that, okay, you are always going to be okay no matter what. Okay. You are always going to be okay. No matter what you are always connected to love. You can always bring up feelings of love, right? Like when you're listening to a love song or when you're watching a romantic movie, these are the same feelings that you would be feeling in your dream relationship. The relationship is only a reflection of what's going on within. So if you can tap into those feelings. Now you can feel those feelings. Now you can create it from within. And this is what manifestation is. And we also want to realize that even if the relationship never manifested, okay, like, let's just say it didn't end up manifesting, right? Would you be okay? Would you live? Right? Could you live? And when you realize, okay, actually, I'd be fine. Okay, maybe I would have a lot more time for myself because maybe you're one of these people that values independence. So you would be okay, right? You would be okay if it didn't manifest. You would live, right? So we wanna just make sure that we can live without the thing. And this can kind of clear the fear when we realize, okay, even if that fear were true, I would still be okay. And now we want to bring in the soul truth though. Because we never want to just accept the belief that, oh, I'm fine without those things that I want, or I'm fine without the relationship that I want. We don't want to accept that. We want to bring that truth in to kind of soothe the fear so that we're not like desperation needing to manifest the thing, right? But we want to realize that, okay, I have this desire for a reason. This is what my soul needs in order to expand. So the nature of life is abundance. The nature of life is expansion. The nature of your soul is to desire things that are going to help you become a more evolved version of your soul. So your desire for this dream man or for this relationship is actually benefiting all of humanity because all of humanity benefits from your expansion. So when we recognize that our desires are divine, that's something that Amanda Francis always says, your desires are, are divine. You were meant for those desires in your heart, right? So realizing that can really help you heal the fear of things not manifesting because here's the thing, you are meant to have 
every last one of your desires fulfilled. Sure, sometimes your higher self or your God self is going to have an even better plan, right? So we always want to be saying when we're manifesting something, we want to say this or something better. I want to manifest this or something better because sometimes your higher self actually knows a better plan, right? Sometimes we're trying to manifest a certain dream man when actually our soul knows there's an even better dream man for us, okay? But don't be sad because this better dream man that maybe you don't even know yet is going to have those qualities that you are wanting in this one particular man. So in a sense, your desires are always divine. Even if you're desiring a certain man who doesn't end up being your soulmate man, the reason that you're desiring him is for soul expansion and that is meant for you. Okay, does that make sense, you guys? So your desires are divine. And even though sometimes we don't know ultimately like what is the highest good for ourselves or what is the best version for ourselves, right? We can let go and let God handle that part. But knowing that our desires are divine, we aren't given any desire in our heart that isn't for us to manifest. So that can really help you with the fear of things not manifesting is, is realizing like, this is meant for you, you know? And I think what it can really come from is this lack of trust in life and in God or, or soul, right? Like we're just not taught this stuff, right? We're not taught that the universe is loving that we are meant to achieve our dreams. So we're kind of running around with this belief that like, well, what if it doesn't get to happen, right? What if I don't get to live my dreams? What if I look around me and I see all these people living and suffering and not living their dreams, right? Like, can you guys relate? What if that's what's meant for me, right? It's not, we need to be collectively retrained that joy is our natural state. We came for the joy of living, right? You guys, like say it with me. You came for the joy of living. I came for the joy of living. Say it. We need to be retrained that, that this is what life is actually meant to be about. Our dreams are meant for us. Our dreams are meant to manifest, okay? And yeah, your desires are divine. And even though you might not always know the best possible way to fulfill those desires, right? Like the certain man that you want, he may not end up being the man that is actually best for you, right? But you can trust that you want him for a reason and those qualities will be in your dream man as well. Those qualities that are for your highest good. Is that making sense, you guys? Like, have you ever wanted something really, really bad and then got it, but in another form than you expected, right? So we don't want to be super needy to the form in which the manifestations will take place because sometimes our soul will know better than we do, right? So then you always want to say this prayer, you guys, this or something better, or I allow my highest good to manifest. It's kind of like saying the same thing. So this or something better. I want this desire in my heart or God, soul, universe, surprise me and bless me with something even greater. Okay? This or something better. Say it with me. This or something better. I've seen this too, like where sometimes you'll be really trying to make a certain business work or something or make a certain idea work for you or make a certain relationship work like you'll be really trying hard and you know doing all this praying like bringing in your soul like working so hard every day and it's not working and you're like well i'm doing everything like and then you start to get in your head like oh well maybe i'm not supposed to manifest my dreams sometimes the thing that we're trying to manifest isn't actually for our highest good and there's something even better for us to manifest that's like right in front of our face Right? Like maybe we're trying to do some online business and we're actually meant to be doing it a different way. Right? And if we would just allow ourselves to do what our soul truly desired, things would flow easily. Right? If something is continually hard and hard and hard and it's just like not working, right? There is a better way. And not that I don't believe in like hard work and, and like, 
you know, sometimes it's not going to feel easy, right? Sometimes it's not going to feel easy following your soul path. Sometimes it's actually going to feel like really scary following your soul path, but there will be a certain level of joy in the work. If there's no joy in the work and it's just hard, 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 you might be off the path and there could be something better. Well, no, not there could be. There's guaranteed there is a better way because here's the thing. Life is abundant. You get to have it all without taking away from some other part. You get to live in joy and do your work. It doesn't have to be either or. It doesn't have to be, I get to have my joy at 5 p.m. when I get home from work. No, you get to have your joy all day and do what you came to this planet to do. You have a special soul gift or you have many soul gifts that you came to unleash onto this world. And in your unleashing of them, in your creative expression is total joy and fulfillment. It doesn't have to be one or the other. There is a path for you. There is a way for you to have it all, really. Like you don't have to say, like a lot of people say, oh, well, I can't do this because I'm a mom now. Like I even, I even thought that. Like when I was pregnant, I was like, I'm not going to be running my business when I'm pregnant. I'm going to just take time off, right? I'm not like, I'm not going to do it. Now that I actually have the baby, I'm like, oh my God, it's so fucking easy. I just literally, you know, get my man to take the baby away for an hour. I talk to my clients. I do my live stream. Then I'm with my baby. Like I get to have it all. I get to do it all. And I can thank one of my mentors, Taylor Lee, for that. She actually showed me because she had her baby a few months before me. She showed me how to rock her business while having her little baby. And that's something that I had to realize because it's like so normal in our culture, you know, that you like take time off when you have a little baby. Like, no, in this new earth reality where we get to do businesses doing what we love and we get to work from home, right? There's no need to take time off. There's no need to retire. This is the joy of living. Like you get to do it all and have it all you get to have your dream relationship without losing yourself that was another thing for me i think i have a scheduled post coming out later this week about that where i used to always get distracted by guys and it was like i would be really on purpose working really hard and then all of a sudden i get in a relationship and totally lose that drive can anyone relate has any of you ladies that are on here like ever done that where it's like you were like so motivated and then you get in a relationship and you lose it right doesn't have to be that way. You get to have your passion for your work and your relationship and your baby and your money. Like you get to have it all you guys. And there is a divine plan for you. There is a path for you where abundance is yours on all levels. Okay. So I'll leave you with that. Love you guys so much. If you want to learn how to manifest your dreams from within, check out the link that I posted for Manifest Your Dream Life School. We're starting so soon, you guys. We're starting on Monday. I'm getting so excited. This course is going to be the best thing of your entire life. There's going to be four different trainings per week. Like this is literally school um, for manifestation. Like you will come out of this program knowing exactly how to manifest your dreams in all areas. You are going to be so confident in your ability. You're already going to start manifesting your dreams during the course, but you're also going to have this content for life. You're going to be a pro at manifesting. You are going to master this shit and you're going to have fun doing so. If you really feel like it's your time to manifest your dream life, you're done fucking around, you want to do it now and you want to work with me doing it, check the link out, join us. There's a payment plan as well. I'm so excited. You guys, we start Monday. Um, yeah, now's your time. Okay. Now is the time to manifest your dreams. And here's was getting a call. Okay. Last thing I'll leave you guys with when you manifest your dreams and you're living your dream life, you help everybody that you come in contact with. You give them that ability and that understanding without you even saying anything, you give them that ability that they can do the same. You like when they see you living your dreams, it's like literally sending out light ripples out to all of the other humans and their little soul lights are going to go off too. And yeah, you're going to manifest your dreams. They're going to manifest your dreams. Like it's selfish to not manifest your dreams is what I'm trying to say, because you can help everybody you come in contact with manifest theirs. So let's do this. If you want to work with me on this, you can check the link there, you guys. Um, yeah starting Monday. Love you all so much. If this video was helpful, um, like share with your people, 
let's get this word out into the world that the dream life is the way to do it. Anybody can do it. You can do it. I know it feels hard sometimes. I know it feels like it's easy for everybody else, but it's hard for you. Everybody feels like that. Okay. You just got to keep moving through and trusting the higher vision is what's meant for you. Because like I said earlier, your desires are divine. We can work with these fears. We can realize we don't need to manifest our dreams because ultimately we're going to be okay no matter what. We don't need to manifest our soulmate because ultimately we can connect with love from our soul at any time. So there's no need for loneliness, but we are meant to manifest our dreams because that is the highest good for our souls. So check the link out if you want to join us, you guys. Um, yeah, so excited. Love you all. Remember, you came for the joy of living. Bye, guys.